Welcome to the Full Spectrum Laser LLC Retina Vector demo. So Retina Vector comes with our USB laser controller, Retina Engrave, and allows you to uh, generate cut paths from various vector programs. And I'm going to give a demonstration of several programs and how it works. So here's the program as it starts up. There's a jog panel here to move the motors around and there's also an unlock key. The unlock key allows you to unlock the motors and you can push the laser head into position um, by just moving it with your hands. So let's take a look at a few programs. The first program I'm going to use is Adobe Illustrator. So here I've drawn three objects. Um, each of them has a different color and you set the color by adjusting the path color in Adobe Illustrator. This is different from saying the fill. So the fill we always select uh, to be empty and we only change the path color. The other thing for Adobe Illustrator is you want to set the stroke to be 0.25 points or as thin as possible. Anyway, we have just do File, Print, and we select the full spectrum engineering driver. And as soon as we print it, what we see is that the three objects come into Retina Vector and each of them are separated by colors. So each layer can be reordered. So here, all the layers have the same order. So they have equal weight. Um, but if we adjust this, so we set the blue layer second and the green layer third, and then sort it, you'll see we'll cut the yellow layer first, then the blue layer, then the green layer. We also can change the power and the speed of each layer. And we can also change the number of times each layer is repeated. So here I'm going to cut the yellow layer first, so the circle. I'm going to do it three times, so three passes around. Then I'm going to move to the blue layer and cut out this square and trace it over four times. And then I'm going to go to the green layer and do that once. Um, we can set the speed, the power, and the repeats independently for each of the colors. Uh, the more power you use and the slower you cut, the deeper it cuts. And of course, how many times you go over it also affects how, many, uh, how deep the cut will be. So, the reason you want to do this is that sometimes you want to cut all the way through and sometimes you just want to scratch the surface. So this allows you to do that. Uh, so that was Adobe Illustrator. Next uh, we can show AutoCAD. So File, we plot, we'll select our driver, Full Spectrum Engineering Driver, hit OK. And as soon as we hit OK, you can see it comes into Retina Vector. Uh, we have three objects, all different colors, and it separates it into three layers. So now we're going to use this program DraftSight. So DraftSight is like AutoCAD, except it's free, and you can find a link on our website. This is a very good CAD program, and uh, we're not sure why uh, it's free because certainly people would pay for it, but it's to your advantage. So again, file, print, and we select the full spectrum engineering driver. We hit OK. And uh, as soon as we do so, you can see we have one, two, three, four. Uh, so we have the four primary objects come through and we also have this black layer. So the black layer is uh, an extra layer that often occurs if there is a fill or there's some other data. So this layer was not used so we'll just set that to zero. So the black layer is necessary because some programs don't generate output um, like for example Microsoft Word and it only generates black layers. Uh, otherwise, we would just ignore the black layer. But in this case, we just set the repeats to be zero, and that can ignore it. 
Uh, suppose I didn't want to cut out this square, which is magenta, I can also set that repeat to zero and um, the program will ignore it. So when I want to cut this, all I do is press this one button, cut now, and um, this will cut the entire workout. It always starts at the top left and goes to the bottom right. So that was draft site. Uh, let's take a look at another program. Here's a free vector drawing program called Inkscape. This is very similar to Corel Draw, except it's free. So we'll just do file print, select our driver, hit OK. And here we had one, two, three, four objects. And again, we have one, two, three. Uh, actually, we had three objects, sorry. There was no fourth object. So there was three objects in Inkscape and three layers that come through on the retina vector. Uh, we can also do Corel Draw. So Corel Draw, same thing. Here we have one, two, three, four colors. Uh, file, print. We select the full spectrum engineering driver, hit print. And as soon as it prints, uh, we just move it out of the way. And you can see that these uh, four colors come right through. And if we want to cut this, all we do is hit cut now and it would start cutting. Um, so here we have some text, this uh, blue layer. So we probably want to do that at top speed and one pass. But say we want to cut out this yellow outline, then we can reduce the speed to say 10% and give it three passes. And this will cut all the way through while the blue layer will just scratch the surface. So there you go, I've demonstrated uh, several programs. So we have one more program that I'm going to show you, and I'm sure you're probably familiar with this one. This is Microsoft Word, and uh, here I just typed some text in, nothing fancy, and I'm just going to do File, Print, and I'm going to print to the Full Spectrum Engineering Driver, hit OK, and as you can see, the uh, vector for fonts come right in and they all appear on the black layer. So there you go. Uh, we showed several programs and even Microsoft Word and we can generate uh, cut paths from all these programs and um, you can make your laser work for you immediately. So for more information please visit our website www.fullspectrumengineering.com.